guys, it's Cindy, the Resale Remedy, and I'm here to tell you, let's flip some stuff. Yes, flipping is like so big nowadays. We want to flip our clothing. We want to flip our junk. And the whole thing is buy low, sell high. Yes, that's all about flipping. People are just flipping crazy lately. And I think this is just what people want to do now and a lot of entrepreneurs um actually make good money and go big with this stuff i mean people are flipping um cars flipping houses flipping um clothing uh flipping uh hard goods they are flipping anything that they can find because they're finding it low and they're selling it high just recently, I just found out that my my husband's brother, my brother-in-law, he plays some kind of game like a it's it's um uh, magic magic the gathering, I think that's right. My my son does it too. Um, it's real popular, but he will uh, buy these magic cards from people really low on these selling platforms, and he will take them and he will they will be shipped to his house he'll put them in the little case or whatever he's got to do and he sells them high so he's flipping cards not cars cards <laughs> sorry guys my jaw is um that's why i didn't do a video last week i had to go to the dentist and he gave me something to fix my tmj which is a plate that goes in my mouth i had to take it out today that's why i didn't have a video last week because my mouth was just a mess and i take it out and you could see I normally have a coffee tooth there, but it is really, really kind of bruisy down there. I'm going to see him next week, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll tell me that's normal. But I just took it out today. I just, I needed a break, you know. It's really irritating me. But let's get off of that. But anyway, flipping. Flipping everything. So that's what we do. I flip used clothes. Now, some of you flip clothes and hard goods, and some of you flip electronics and but that's what we do we flip we we just take our junk and take other people's junk at least it's decent junk and we buy it low and we sell it high and um that's what reselling is all about and a lot of people don't understand the concept of resale when you tell them that you are a reseller they they hear you but they don't quite understand the concept. I think everybody's mind goes to use car salesmen or something. I don't know. They just look at you like you're on some other kind of planet. At least me, they do. Of course, I don't know. I'm, I may be on another planet. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I'll talk to you about my flipping. Now, um, I do clothing. And um, I didn't start off that way. When I first started off, I was just stuffed out of my house and uh, my closets and everything like that but i got so into it and got so excited about all my cha-chings i was getting just from stuff in my house and i don't want to call it junk but it was stuff that i wasn't using and it's just cluttering up my life now i got so excited about that and i started um doing some more research and i started somehow or another i ended up doing clothing and i quit doing dig into my closets and my sheds and started getting into clothing and going to the Goodwill outlets and everything and doing 99 cent days. On Sunday at my Goodwill, and you can check your Goodwill as well, um, they have 99 cent day. And, um, or you can go to the bins. Now there is one Goodwill in Savannah that has the bins. And I, I don't live far from Savannah, about 40, 45 minutes. And they have the bins. Now I haven't done that yet because I don't know. I'm just, I don't want to go by myself. I want, I'd love to experience this with somebody else, you know, and um, I could take my husband and he would go with me. I know he would, he, he would go, but he really don't know what he's looking at. And to be honest, I probably don't either. I'd love to take my daughter. If she, if she come down here from Atlanta, my daughter resells as well. And she could just, she could just, she's like, flies through there and throw in, get this, get this, get this. You know, she knows the good stuff. All she's got to do is touch it and she knows what the good stuff is, you know. Um, but anyway, besides that, 
that's what I do, and that's how I got into it, briefly how I got into it. But my closets and my sheds, I still got stuff I should sell, and they're mainly hard hard goods and things like that. And I want to put those on my husband's site. My husband has a site, and I've been doing a little bit for him here and there. But he doesn't have a lot because I really don't have a lot of time to work on his stuff, but I do the best I can. Um but let me take you, take for example, about what, um, I'm going to use this one right here, this right in front. This right here, this is what I'm, I mean, we're flipping, flipping clothes. This is what I do, okay? And for some reason or another, I like that word. That word goes better in today's society than reselling. I don't know, flipping just sounds better for people. They'll understand a flip better than they will a resell. That's what I'm trying to get to. They'll understand a flip because everybody flips everything now. <laughs> okay. All right, so this little jacket here. Now, this is not a name brand, I don't think. I have not researched it. And I did not pick it up for the brand, okay? I picked it up because of these cool ruffles in the front and because of the shiny color and because, it, guys, if you could feel this, the inside of it, the lining, everything feels really great. And it's got a cool, neat little ribbon around it and some really decent looking buttons they're actually these buttons feel like they're metal actually no i guess they're plastic but anyway it's lined and it's a size 10 which is a good size for a little jacket for a woman because most women are around a size 10. now that's why i picked that up for 99 cent and what i'm going to do to that little 99 cent number is i'm going to list it for around 15 to 18 dollars now i think that's going to sell better on posh poshmark um I, I've noticed that some of my more unique items, different items like that, sell better on Poshmark. Stuff like my uh, normal standard items like, um, oh, my Apollos and things like that, they will sell good on eBay. Now, I have had some good luck with a few t-shirts and things like that on eBay, and my t-shirts have been selling well on Macari. Macari is good for ties, t-shirts, and just uh, normal stuff like books and let's see stuff like well cruise on over there to Macari and look at what they got jewelry shoes everything it's not just clothing and um, Poshmark is more for clothing but I've noticed that some people I saw DVDs on Poshmark I didn't know you could put DVDs on Poshmark I'm not gonna do it but I commend everybody else that's doing it because I, I didn't know you could put books and DVDs and all that on Poshmark. That's pretty cool. But uh, I, I'm sticking strictly to the clothing and putting hard goods on my husband's, like I said. But that's my flip. That's how I flip. Now, um, if I was to go out to, say I was going to Walmart or somewhere like that, and I found something that, you know, was a couple of dollars and I wanted to flip it. It was a hard good item, and I wanted to flip it. Um, you, if it's brand new in the box, you might want to think about getting a bunch of them and selling them on Amazon. Now, I haven't. I signed up for Amazon, but I decided that was I was biting off a little bit too much, and I just kind of discontinued that idea for now because I still am not really steady and focused and got my steady, you know, income on my other three platforms that I work with. Oh, I should say four platforms. I totally forget about Etsy. I have stuff on Etsy. Now, the things I have on Etsy, oh, guys, I'm in my new building. I didn't even, I forgot to even tell you that. Okay, right behind me is my men's section. <laughs> now, that's men's shirts that need to be listed. And um, when I steam everything out, I hang it over there. Um, those have not been steamed out because I just got through moving everything in here and I need to start doing that, but I did want to separate them for now, um, because I was doing all this over here and this is all ladies stuff over here and a few hard goods and kind of things are not extremely organized right now, but it's getting there. And of course, that's where I take my photos and my heat's on, my heat is on. Um, I can't spin you around because the glare from the window will just go bam right onto the camera. Um, my printers are, I put them up high 
and I actually have my iPad here, my good laptop here, and this is my old laptop that I am talking to you on. And I would love to get a actual camera one day. I would love to do that. My son will be moving in shortly in our camper, and uh, I'm sure he'll show me how to hook a lot of this stuff up. If he want, his friend will. But anyway, enough of that. This is mainly what I sell on Etsy. These are craft books. Um, you guys know I do a lot of plastic canvas. Those of you who have been watching me, I do plastic canvas. And I do a lot of artsy stuff. So I have these craft books on there. And normally when I'm crafting, if I got something I did, I throw it up on there as well. And so I do have four platforms. So I apologize. I do have four platforms. But... Um, I think that's why I kind of jumped the gun on Amazon just a little bit. But flipping things on Amazon is a possibility. Now, my sister-in-law just recently gave me... Let me reach it. Oh, sorry. I got my ratty old t-shirt on today. It's my favorite. You guys ever have a sweatshirt that is just like your favorite? This is mine. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show, show you. Okay. Can you see? Can you see this? Oh, look at this. It's Garfield. And it says... Look at this. Coffee Me. Is it backwards on you guys? I'm not sure. But it says Coffee Me. I love this sweatshirt. This is awesome. I've had it for like 100 years. And um, I don't like things around my neck, so I cut the thing off. Did that 100 years ago, too. But it is, I mean, I'm talking about, this thing has been through everything. Look at it. It's, it's great. Isn't it great? I would never sell this. I could flip this. <laughs> Somebody would probably buy it. <laughs> Serious. Okay, onward with what I'm saying. All right, so my sister-in-law found a bunch of these on sale. And she got them. I don't know why she bought so many. Usually people buy one, but she bought a whole bunch. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I've got two of them in the box and one of them is out of the box. Now, something like this, if you ran across it and you only paid a couple of bucks for it, go ahead and grab all of them because if you're on Amazon, you can scan these and easy peasy and they're on Amazon for you. And they'll more than likely sell because I guarantee you something like this is selling like hotcakes on Amazon. So, um... But I'm probably going to list that, you know, on eBay and Macari. But um, um, I, I really don't know what she paid for them. Um, and she never did tell me what she paid for them. But anyway, she gave them to me. So it's a freebie for me. So whatever I make is going to be a profit. And, uh, but, you know, that's, that's some of the hard goods you can look for. And that's a flip. And flip it. Flip it, flip it, flip it. <laughs> I know. I know. I was I, that's why I said, you know, could say flip. And people will understand that. But saying reselling, they're like, well, what are you reselling? And if you say, oh my gosh, if you look at them and say used clothing, I'm talking even the girls in Goodwill, in my Goodwill, they're like, you actually do that? You actually are buying the stuff and reselling it online? I'm like, yes. I mean, either they're pulling my leg or they they've heard of it. They tell me they've heard of it, but they've never met anybody that actually does it. I think the people that go in there, to be honest with you, want to be really, really secretive about it because you can always tell, you can always point out the resellers when you go in there. You really can. A lot of times they're rude. I'm not. I'm just not like that. I'm not made like that, you know, but they will. Okay. So here's an example. So you're going down the aisle and with your little cart, you know, you got a little cart. I like to get the little cart. You get a little cart and you're looking, 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 looking. We all know how we look through the clothes, you know. We've seen the videos, you know, look, 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 look. Depends on how good you are. My daughter's like, bzz, 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 bzz. me, I'm look, look, look. Now that's fast for me. But anyway, I'll be doing that and all of a sudden somebody come in front of me. And they're doing the same thing, right? Okay, so I go to another aisle, and here she comes again, right in front of me. And it's like, okay. And I'm looking at her cart. Now this person, this person that I'm talking about that did this, I know she's a real star. Here's me. I've got some pretty decent 99 cent stuff in my cart, you know, decent. 
I can tell this one is very, very particular because she's not only, I'm looking, I'm looking mostly for 99 cent stuff, okay? I want the, I'm there for 99 cents and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that color of the day. The color of the day that's only 99 cents, I'm looking for that cheap flip. But this person, is, she'll pay anything, and I can tell. She's looking for that label. Now, if I do come across something with a good label on it that is not the color that I'm looking for, I will look up the comps on it while I'm standing there before I will purchase it for $4.99 or wherever the price is for the normal fee for that particular item. So anyway, back to the shopper. So anyway, the shopper is in front of me again. You know, we went around, and there she is again. So I decided to go across the store. Now, I'm assuming at this point that she has spotted me as well, you know, because I've got my phone out, and I'm looking up stuff that I run into and everything, and I'm stopping, and I'm looking at conditions. I'm holding it up and searching it down. I'm looking inside of the jeans to see if there's any period stains in there. We all have seen that before. Ugh. But anyway, um... I'm going across the store over to the men's section because I was in the ladies' section. With men's section, I love men's clothes. I don't know what it is, but I love doing men's clothes. And they sell pretty good for me, too. But um, I go across the store to uh, look at the men's clothes. Lo and behold, and y'all knew this was coming. She, here she comes. Now, what does she think that I got? Or I know that she needs to know because by my account, she's got it down pat. She's looking for those good items. Only thing I can think of is she thinks that I'm gonna I'm buying everything and I'm gonna get to it first. That's the only thing that I could think of that she thinks I'm buying everything. Now I have a limit. I go into these stores and I look at what I got on my PayPal and I go into these stores and I'm like, okay, I'm going to let $20, $30 go. That's my limit. That's what I got. That's what I'm going to do. And um, this includes stuff that I will pay full price for if I find a good label or something like that. But I got the little tiny carts, you know, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the cart size, but they've got the big shopping carts and now they got these little tiny shopping carts. I like to get there early so I can get one because they only got, at my Goodwill, they only got like five of the little tiny carts. I want that little tiny cart. And uh, my, my daughter, was, uh, my youngest daughter, she will tell you I am a nut when it comes to go to Walmart. I will search out a little tiny cart. I can't stand those big carts. And I will cram that little tiny cart as tight as I can so I don't have to get that jumbo thing. But, okay, anyway, back to the lady. So she's in front of me looking again. And we're in the men's section. So I decided to go by her and say, excuse me. And I did. And she said, mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. That's all she says. And I'm thinking, well, okay, all right, all right, all right. So I got in front of her. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I got in front of her. She did not like that. She took her cart, went the opposite direction, and went back across the store. So... That may be the reason that when I get up to the counter, that girl don't know what I'm doing because everybody tries to keep it a secret. I don't, I don't think I need to keep it a secret. I like to flip clothing. I'm a clothing flipper. I like the decent stuff. I like to sell low. I mean, oop, buy low, sell high. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, and you don't have to be rude. <laughs> I can't wait till the next Sunday I go back and if she's in there again. Oh, I'll recognize her. And I'm sure she'll recognize me. And uh, wouldn't it be hilarious, guys, if she's sitting here watching me right now? <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, this is my flipping show. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about flipping. I've been on here way too long, and I know this was winded. And um, 
I just wanted to talk about, you know, flipping a few things and what to do and show you guys my house. And of course, it makes me happy. I am so glad to have this space. The only thing that I have, the only complain that I have, and I'm going to complain. I normally don't complain about stuff, but I'm going to complain, is when I'm in here, and you guys can't hear it. I know you can't hear it. But I'll be in here, and the roosters will come up on my front porch here, and they will peck on my door. I kid you not. They will peck on my door. I'll get up, and I'll look out the door, and Dad will be standing. The rooster will keep pecking on my door, and that's just irritating. <laughs> I think they're used to, I, I, um, when we were working in here, I had the door open and they would just come walking in here, look and then leave, you know. So I guess they just want to do that. Either that or they know I got heat in here. But there's going to be no egg laying in here. This is not their hen house. This, I took over this. This is mine. That's not the roosters. It's not the chickens. There's no eggs in here. But. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go because I've talked your ear off today, and I hope you like my flipping show. I hope I help somebody to understand what reselling is, and all it is is flipping. That's all it is. And I mean, HGTV is loaded with people flipping houses and flipping gardens and flipping, flipping flips. And then you got your history channel with the two guys that go around in a van flipping junk. So that's what I do. I flip clothing. And so find yourself something, guys. Make some extra money. Start flipping. Bye, guys. This is Cindy, the Resale Remedy, saying I'll see you next time. Bye.